the this calls, calls for the call. Call to do. <laughs> this part to me was one of the. I couldn't wait for this part to be over. It wasn't as yeah, cool I'm as when I first saw. Piece. Like really. Yeah, I've I think seen they people... mastered the instrumental on the next album. This one sounds a oh, bit no, like Ryan, uh, yeah. they're tr like, yeah, they're. Uh... Dude, I've I've seen when you look at lists of like the best instrumental songs, I always see either Orion or Call of Cthulhu, mainly Call of Cthulhu, and I'm just kind of like, I don't know, like the beginning riff, there's some momentum and I like it, and it's just to me, it just drags on so long. And I feel like maybe that soft part, eh? The, the, and then it keeps going up and up that part. I feel that's too long. I feel like that, it just fixed that, it. But I feel like at the five minute mark, one thing I forgot to say is that most of these songs, um, th the length of the songs, it doesn't ever feel like no matter what length it is, it doesn't ever feel like it's getting too long or it's too short. It feels perfect. This is the one song where I feel like at the five minute mark, it really could have ended with like a 30 second outro because I felt like at first, like I said, the riffs had momentum. You hear the bass a bit, a bit better. And, but after, but then it's just, it kind of just drags on and I'm looking at, I'm, it's like, I'm looking at the, the clock and I'm like, okay, man, it's, I feel like the solo was, it was all right, but I feel like this, this really isn't like one of to me this isn't one of the best ins instrumentals of all time that like that a lot of people say it is to yeah. me i just it was boring uh for me i'm gonna have to slightly disagree um slightly. I feel, yeah, <laughs> uh, the s and m version of this song with the symphony mm -hmm. is really good That's yeah it must sound nice. epic because of the extra instrumentation that and, this song played live with those instruments. It's uh, it's really good. It's yeah. like but... it's it's an experience, John. I can hear myself on your end. Yeah. So I don't know if you like can go on mute. Should I lower? Just just click mute. Uh, when when I talk, okay. I feel like that should fix it. There you go. Yeah. Shut up, John. <laughs> no, no, because I can hear the echo and like it's annoying when I can't freaking connect the dots. Anyways. Uh, but this song, the S and M version, I feel like is uh, better because there's the added instruments and the live aspect. It just like, cause that was their opening track, especially on S and M two that just came out. Like this is the track that they open up with, is Call of Cthulhu, and then on S and M one they transition into Master of Puppets, and that's like really really cool. Cause, you, Cause you're announcing, you're like, okay, we're these are this is the symphony of Metallica, and like it's it's really good. And I feel like this song, I would put like if I had to rank each instrumental track by Metallica, I would put this at like it's a tie between this song and Orion for me at number one. Because uh, like this song was one of the first songs I learned how to like drum to. Yeah. It was Enter Sandman, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to challenge myself and learn how to play Cthulhu. Don't ask why or how the hell I did that, but I, I did. <laughs> so, uh, you, yes. you have you you have compared uh, quite a few of the songs to like the live versions. In that case, do you feel like Metallica is better live than they Absolutely. are studio? Absolutely. Absolutely? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Hands down. Hands They're down. better live, especially in their primes. Uh in the 80s and 90s like if you watch like uh live shit the binge and purge or whatever like that album like that's like uh, that's really, that's like their live peak metallica performance like you're not gonna get any better than that and uh going back to like the ranking of each instrumental i'd, I'd tie cthulhu and orion number one then i'd put uh suicide and redemption Number three, and then to live is to die at the bottom. Uh, that's a bit controversial. I like, I'm biased with the suicide and redemption because of the the drum break at the end, and he fucking goes crazy. But the live version to that song, he just fucking does snare rolls the whole time. And Wait, his like, skill oh, went down. Fucking fail. <laughs> yeah. I have a question for John because what do you think yeah. would have made this song way better? 
maybe if they just expanded on it or um i don't like i think it's okay for what it is but i feel like maybe if i also i wouldn't mind in an alternate thing if they just erased this song and wrote another song that was like five six minutes long or something like um that um because i feel like as an instrumental it i feel like i feel like it like it it used to hold up when i first heard it but now i'm kind of like i don't know i mean it's uh it's okay same thing ha- right it's you know not what like, it is? Um, amazing but wait i had a question about you and um do you think if you didn't hear the version with they did with like the okay. with like the huge band and everything would you like like would you still enjoy the song the same way without it uh, or yeah, do I you think... enjoy it more with like the full piece band I, and the, when i go the... listen to the song i listen to it with the symphony personally okay yeah i yeah. that's how because it, it adds a lot of stuff to it and lars's fills because that was in uh, 99 i listened to the snm1 version uh, yeah it was recorded in 99 and that like these fills are they're a bit all over the place but i feel like it <laughs> yeah, made me fun. learn like yeah. these fills and how to be like okay how to incorporate fills in a song Especially in an instrumental, because there's no lyrics to follow. Yeah. There's no singer to follow. It's just, it's you doing it. And I feel like they, maybe that's why I like the song so much, because I can relate to it in that way and have a strong emotional connection to it uh, with learning how to play it on drums. But, yeah, I feel like that song, I can listen to it over and over again with the symphony. Listening to it on this album, I was like... It's it's a bit lackluster. I can agree with you on that, and for the reason that it's there's something missing there. And every time I go listen back to this version in particular, it feels empty because there's no. I'm used to hearing it with the the clarinets and the violins and all that stuff. Yeah, and I, record. I'm gonna send that to to James Hetfield and say that you insulted a, a good instrument. No. I, I read that they were working on this song um uh during the first album with um fucking what's his i just forgot his name the dave fuck yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. dave mustaine they dave so Mustard. i mean that's kind of cool though i that's, feel like i feel like it could have he's like you said the snm version is like way more grand because of all the extra textures and and instrumentation i feel like if because instru- if you're going to make an instrumental, for me, it has to be engaging all the way because the vocals kind of, there's like no chorus where there could be a catchy part. So the instrument, that's that's all the pressure on instrument on the instrumentation. I feel like I might, I might have been more engaged if, since this is the last song and it is, it is called Cthulhu, which is like, like the big uh, HP Lovecraft uh, monster. I felt like this should have been ginormous. This should have been monstrous. This should have sounded like chaos. And to me, it just kind of... the song's nine minutes. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing, though. It's like... Yeah, fuck. You know, it's, it's, mon- it's monstrous in, in length, but, I mean, it doesn't... It doesn't feel like Godzilla uh, just destroying... Or Cthulhu itself destroying a city. Yeah. It sounds like... an like a tiger on a rampage that killed maybe one person and injured two that's i f- i would have preferred it if they if they included if they didn't like let's say they didn't write this song and they wrote two songs that were just fast as fuck that kind of sounded like the album that they like metal made. militia yeah like yeah. if they did two of those or something maybe it would have worked a bit better for them because i don't think they had i mean i think it's an all right song but i think um they didn't i mean you could also see it in like okay here's one side i'll 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 take maybe if they didn't write this song they wouldn't have the ability to write the instrumental that they did on the album after Mm -hmm. so there's one way to kind of see it too but uh, there's there's also a few annoying points i listened to like the spotify remastered version where it sounds like as the riff is beginning to play, in the very beginning, you hear a, a loud buzz on the guitar. Did you guys hear any of that? 
I heard on on the on the version I was listening to. I even I thought it was just like something with the headset, but then I rewinded it like five times, and I did it without the Bluetooth on the speakers. I'm like, okay, this is actually part of it. Where there's just the guitar sound like there's just this like loud distortion on effect that goes for like half yeah. for like a half a second, and it's just kind of like. You didn't really go anywhere with that. And they did it, like, I think two or three more times. And I was like, if you're not going to fucking put, put any good use to it, don't add it. It just sounds yeah. like a blunder. So point that out to me because I don't know which, uh, like, afterwards so I can add it. To, I can add it in afterwards because I don't, I don't know what you're talking about with the, the beige. Like, there's the, like, the yeah. heavy bass distortion parts, uh, like, in the beginning, in the intros. Like, the bass, the bass solos by Cliff in this song are really good. I have to I have to say that, yeah. Because they're, mm-hmm. I feel like they're some of his best work on this album. Definitely that. But I feel uh, like this is when the bass comes back in. Yeah, yeah. This is one. So let's. Uh, do you guys want to wrap it up? Give uh, final thoughts on the whole album. Yeah. 